right so now let us expand our data by months and by quarter and i don't need these panels here so i'll simply zoom into my screen so that we can see the values very clearly and uh, i just want these options to appear on the top so i will just drag it down towards the you know little bit towards the downwards and now you can see these options are at the upward end now what we need to do is that i really want to expand this data by quarters and by months so first of all let me show you this option this option says go to next level in the hierarchy and in the hierarchy we are talking about the date hierarchy right now <laughs> why we why i'm saying that you will just see that in a few minutes at this moment we only have one hierarchy and that is you know the date hierarchy in the sales there is no further breakdown of sales so we are only going to talk about the year at this particular moment so by by this button what this power bi will do for me is that it will expand this data into the quarters so now the data which was broken yearly is now broken quarterly but the quarter one here means the quarter one of 2018 plus quarter one of 2019 plus quarter one of 2020 similarly quarter two means the quarter two of all these three years and if i just expand this once again power bi will break down the data for me into the months but similarly the january here means the january of 2018 19 and 20. so we can quickly break down and we can quickly analyze our data into the months into the quarters and into different levels whatever we have defined so you could see my hierarchy if i just zoom out for you and take you there you could see my hierarchy here if i just show you this panel in the hierarchy you could see that my hierarchy was year then quarter then month and day so i can break down my data by this hierarchy but now you must be thinking that what if i do not want to merge these three years all together i want to keep the years separate but i further want to analyze my data by quarter and by month so for that let us go back to original form of the data by clicking on this button here which says drill up so i will go back to my quarter and then go back to my years and now rather than choosing this icon which are two downward icon uh, two downward arrows I will use this icon here which says expand all down one level in the hierarchy which means that our ears will be there but all of those ears will be broken down by quarters so you can see that now we have our year 2018 broken down into four quarters and then we have 2019 broken down into four quarters and then similarly we have data for 2020 as well so if you want to maintain your ears separately and then within that expand your data you will be using this option and now if we want to go to the month level we will just go back and click on this option one more time and you can see that now our data is broken down not just by year but also by quarter and then also by month so if i just scroll this towards the right you can see we have quarter two three four then we have 2019 quarter one two three four and in each quarter you know we have the months as well and then we have data for 2020 as well so this breaking down of data into different levels is just by a click of a button and that is you know thanks to power bi for that okay so let me go back to my original data in, into the original form and let me show you one more option and then that option is you know this icon here this one single downward arrow here so what this will do is that it will just the drill down option on for you so if i click on this one you will notice that this icon is now highlighted and now if i click on 2018 power bi will only expand 2018 for me and the other data is now hidden now if i click on quarter one only quarter one will be expanded for me and the other data will be hidden let us go back by clicking this icon here and now we are back to the three years i only want to see quarter of 2020 i will you know make sure that this is turned on it will be it will be highlighted even now and then click on 2020 and then click on quarter two and you can see the month level breakdown and you want to go back just click on this icon upward arrow here and you will be back to your original data so this way you can quickly break down your sales into quarters and months you can merge down all the months for different years or you can keep that separate so drilling down is very easier in power bi